What's up, everybody? It's Sugar Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Starting this one off from you in the car at the beach. Yeah, I know. I was going to show you all the backyard. I was going to show you all the nice sand and the beach. But guess what? It decided today to be 20 degrees cooler than yesterday. It was 69 degrees yesterday. Today, it's 41 to 50. I'm in direct sun in the car, sort of. And I just had to do this video because I had already scheduled myself to do it. Plus, later is my YouTube training course, uh, live Q&A for probably two and hours and some change. And so we've got 18 bedrooms in an 18-bathroom house, but yet everybody always wants to come see what I'm doing, so I had to come outside. So, all right, I know how much you guys love when I put the list together before the show even starts. So it's in the description. But I will ask you kindly to drop a like and also drop your city and state. So we're going to start this one off with the list in the beginning so we can help those of us who struggle watching the whole video. All right, so here we go. Number one, start a YouTube channel. Number two, start a business. Number three, sell a service. Number four, stock trading. Number five, delivery services. Number six, party slash hosting your own events. Number seven, Q Kids. Number eight, transcription services. Number nine, selling plates of food. Number 10, virtual assistant. Number 11, Facebook groups. Did y'all like any of those? Did you like any of those? Now, again, we're going to go over those again one more time. Just for those of you who love to skip through the video. Okay? Never listen, but you're skipping through videos. Number one, start a YouTube channel. Number two, start a business. Number three, sell a service. Or I'd like to say teach a service, but we're going to go over that. All right? Number four, stock trading. Number five, delivery services. Number six, party slash hosting your own events. Number seven, Q Kids. Number eight, transcription services. Number eight, uh, number nine, selling plates of food. Number 10, virtual assistants. Number 11, Facebook groups. Why am I giving you these? I'm in this town that's basically a tourist town. The people that are not here, that are not tourists, that live here full time. Okay, they live here full time. You can tell some of them are a little bit irritated when you go into places because they know, oh, here's another freaking tourist, right? And my thoughts are if you live in this town and you live at the beach you should be on your phone figuring out what internet things internet things so you don't have to be serving tourists that you don't like okay here's the truth of it jobs will change uh the way we see jobs will change in the next let me take this plug off the oops oopsie oops almost made it knock it off all right we don't want any no drama today uh, the way we see jobs will absolutely change in the next five to ten years. Point blank period. They will change. It will be different. Um, let's see if that helps. That helped a little bit. Uh, they'll be different, right? Because they just will be. Between the economy, between a lot of stuff. So when people complain about their job or people don't look for new skills, I'm always a little bit worried about those folks because at the end of the day, they're the folks not paying attention and it's going to hit them hard. Okay. Or they're just waiting until, well, I'm just waiting until Social Security. And more and more, I go in places and I see really elderly working the front desk, right? Um, you know, it's just one of those things. So rural areas, if you're in a rural area, which I would consider Eastern North Carolina, most of East Carolina is rural, right? But a lot of them be on the computer, you know? Uh, I would be using that computer to my advantage. And I'm going to talk about those ways in this video, Okay uh sorry about the angles it just well, we don't see anybody's license plate behind me so anyway if you live in rural suburbs which a lot of you try to say well i can't do uber eats i can't do this or i can't do that because i live in the rural area erica you need to be on your phone or on your computer using it for more than looking at music videos number three systems vas and staff many of you underestimate the fact that i probably right now have met at several of the masterminds i've been to this year at least seven, I'd say at least eight companies where they're making three to five million a year with a staff of five to seven people. Now, people love trying to give you that one man story where one guy by himself made two million dollars. He don't need nobody. He a strong, independent man. He don't need no woman, no person to help him make his money. Listen, that stuff is ridiculous, y'all. Let that shit go. Let it go. Even even these women, their budget needs to have a staff of 24. 24 okay 24 let's just make that clear budget with half a million people on her facebook group 
has a staff of 24. That's the ones they tell you about. They may have some more. There are several YouTube channels. I could bust them out right now, but I will not, who have staffs of 8 to 15 people. You think these guys with kids and wives uh, got time to edit videos every single day and put them out for you? Please. Please. Be please, okay? They got staff. Uh, even these guys that you think are just showing their fitness workout videos, they, a lot of them guys have five to six people on staff. It takes a lot to run a high um, quality, lots of edits YouTube channel. You see, my YouTube channel wasn't all this high flash and dash. Even I have video people who follow me around and edit future videos. Okay, so just give you a heads up there. But you can make millions of dollars with a staff of 5 to 15. This is actually the norm in America. If you think about small uh, plumbing companies, electrician companies, smaller warehouses, they do millions of dollars with 5 to 15 people all the time. Don't want to don't just be the a forklift operator. Be somebody who works there. You dig? Uh, owns it. So you guys put in the comments right now, how high do you think taxes were in America at one point? What's the highest you think taxes have been in America? Put it in here. Put it in the comments. Uh, and while you guys are getting ready to answer that, I'm going to say playing small doesn't serve you. Playing small doesn't serve you. I come in this house with all these people and they'd be like, what you doing, Erica? What you studying? Why are you on the computer? I'm like, I'm working, making money. That's what I'm doing. I'm working, making money. Get out of my face. <laughs> But playing small doesn't serve you. Tell people what you do and be proud of it because you will gyrate to other rooms. Okay. All right. You guys. All right. So I see a lot of 50s, a lot of 70s, a lot of 60s. The highest tax rate in America's history has been 94%. Let me say that again. 94% taxes in America. The highest it's ever been is 94%. Right now, if you live in California, you're on the verge of 40 to 50%. If you live in New York, you're on 40 to 50%. Even if you live in Texas, it's 33%. And people be like, no, I live in Texas and it ain't got no state income tax. You're incorrect. That's no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I live in Texas. Sir, if you go add up your property tax, if you go add up your sales tax, if you go add up the tolls on the road in Texas, if you go start adding up every little thing, you, sir, are at 33%, even with the government and no state income tax. So, you know what I mean? People are like, I'm moving to Florida and Texas. You're still paying money. All right, there we go. <clears throat> An article today said, experiences over toys. It said that kids grow better and have happier memories and are actually well more developed from experiences over toys. So you see these people struggling, trying to buy toys for their kids. That's not the business. Taking them places, taking them to places and giving them experiences is actually a thing. Spending actual time with them is a thing. Right now in our house, we did a bake-off. We made all the kids do a bake-off. They had to break into teams. You know, there's a ton of kids in there. Bake-off. And one group had to make brownies, one had to make cookies, one had to make something else and something else. They're seriously on the internet right now looking up recipes who can have the better recipe. And I think the kids who are going to do snickerdoodles are probably going to win. But again, there's freedom in systems, right? The Jocko Willis says there's freedom in discipline and that's just the truth. There's freedom in discipline. So if you haven't got the planner of the YouTube course and March next year, you're like, Erica, what's up? I'm going to be like, ha ha, baby. You should have already been got it. All right. So look, let's go ahead and start this one off. All right. So our list again, for those who need pen and paper and they just say, Erica, you got to put this list out early. Let's give the list one more time and we're going to go into class. Number one, start a YouTube channel. Number two, start a business. Number three, sell a service or teach a service. Number four, stock trading. Number five, delivery service. Number six, party slash hosting your own events number seven q kids number eight transcription services number nine selling plates of food number 10 virtual assistants number 11 facebook groups all right let's start with number one start a youtube channel now you're gonna be like well erica you know but listen i saw a channel the other day where a woman gave her husband a fifty thousand dollar truck Clearly from her money out of her own pocket with no payments. And literally the man about crying. 
about crack. And it had a ton of views. And I actually went into a rabbit hole on accident, taking a break from my work, of just seeing all these videos of couples giving each other presents and gifts and games and crap and stuff. And people are like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you told me, gosh, this is so amazing. Stop it, Ready, Set, Well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm going to write that down too. Um, and it was, they had huge views, huge views. And I was sitting there like, People actually watch this? They actually come on YouTube and watch people give each other gifts. Wow. People people watch some dumb shit. <laughs> but again, and so when people say, well, Erica, I don't know if my topic's that important or that exciting, there are people out here eating crab legs with millions of views. Literally. Eating crab legs loudly into a microphone, getting millions of views. So don't doubt yourself. Just think of ways you're going to monetize it. Okay? Let's let's just start there. All right? And if you haven't, and you're thinking about it, there's payment plans on the YouTube course. The reason I'm teaching this is I'm seeing so many people, literally, literally, make videos and channels about just about everything you can think of and raking in the dough left and right. So I would strongly encourage you, don't be afraid. Uh, and again, if you actually go to VidCon or Vid Summit, majority of YouTubers you meet are introverts. They're not extroverts. Very, very surprising. But when you go there, there's a lot of introverts. Introverts who um, are good at editing, good at services, good at the behind the scenes. And guess what? They're at home in their office making videos. So again, and you can also don't have to show your face. You do not have to show your face when you YouTube videos. All right, number two, start a business. Now, you know, you're going to be people who are like, Erica, everybody, everybody wasn't meant to be an entrepreneur. Everybody doesn't want to start a business. Yes, but here's my thing. If you're in here, what you start to notice about 40 to 50 years old, you start to experience age discrimination. Age discrimination starts to creep in. You want to go work somewhere, all of a sudden you got a younger manager than you. And what happens is you have experience and you could start something. See, my problem with the internet is we got a lot of people out here spending every day and night arguing, uh, let me be clear, useless conversation. And let me be very clear, where your focus is, is where your heart is. Where your focus is, is where your mind is. You are not Humans are not capable enough to spend six hours a night on stupid and then magically be geniuses the next day. It just doesn't work that way. What you spend time in is what you master in. Point blank period. Some of you go to work and have great systems and set up at work that if you had to leave work and show me how to do all of it, you could start your own thing. Now I'm not in the team of quit your job. I've never told people to do that. What you notice is around 44 to 49, people start getting laid off. And not being able to rise back up again to that level of income or job ever again. And this is something I've been studying for a while now. And, and all of a sudden, I look on YouTube and I see 44 to 50-year-old men doing prepper channels, cabin building, building tools, starting stuff, all kinds of stuff, car repair, and getting millions and millions of views. Because why? People want to watch skillful people, people with skills, people with talents. Even some people that are not talented, they want to watch it. So that goes back to my, again, to start a business, one to one, start a YouTube channel. Don't overestimate the skills and experiences you've picked up over the years. Um, as someone said in here, I was, I was getting ready to laugh. What is it? You said like, I seen a channel on a mini kitchen where they cook mini stoves like Barbie doll small. They have 33 million views. I think I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I've seen Jeep channels. I've seen motorcycle channels. <laughs> and the motorcycle guy channel, which I don't want to call him out, he ended up proposing, getting down on one knee and proposing to his, his girlfriend who has two kids, single mom. And men in the channel under the comments were just horrible to him. Absolutely horrible. And it was funny because I said, here's a man who has a YouTube channel that you've been watching that has millions of views, that rides motorcycle, has a motorcycle club, makes millions of dollars off affiliates, found a lovely woman with her two kids and even proposed to her with the two kids in the background. The kids are like, ah, what's going on? 
and you guys have the nerve to be from your computer screen horrible to this man who is living a much better life than you probably are <laughs> mctow for life though all right yeah so anyway on to what i was saying when it comes to starting businesses i think we have a lot of people who have horror stories because someone they knew they uncle jerome somebody back in the day started a business in something that they had no business starting a business in or they didn't have enough funding for and and, and didn't didn't survive didn't maintain what I strongly suggest as I bring on Credit I Ring and I bring on people to help you guys is getting that personal credit looking shiny and new. And there's an affiliate program I will share with the email list. Um, and I'll put it in the description. Make sure you sign on the email, new email list because if you don't, you're not going to get a lot of the referrals I'm doing because I'm only referring a certain type of people um, to these groups because it just is what it is, right? And you could literally have that personal credit looking shiny and new and get zero to $150,000 in credit. And then start your company because a lot of people are starting a business because, well, I quit my job and I'm going to make it do what it do. And I'm going to go out here and struggle and scrape. And you just never get enough traction when you don't have money for advertising and marketing and staff and just kind of keeping the business afloat. When you don't have that stability on the back end side, it's a terrible idea. So anyway, that's number two. Number three, sell a service. Now, I also put slash teach a skill, but they really are two different things. So let me say... 3A and 3B. 3A is sell a service. Now, if you can sell your plumbing skills, if you can go on home advisor and sell your skills there, if you can sell your tree cutting skills, if you can sell, you name it, get a skill. And actually, that's just the biggest part of it. Sell a service. I mean, people need services. There's a thing called concierge, which I think many of you understand what that means. Put a one in the comment if you know what concierge means. And I'm saying a little ridiculous, but you know what I'm talking about. It is the service of running errands for people. Essentially, you're just you're just running errands for people. And that's a service. You could be a part person who provides services for high-end clients, picking up their laundry, picking up different things, delivering stuff, shopping for them, grocery shopping, all that stuff. Instacart's taking care of a lot of those things um, as far as the grocery side, but there's still people who literally have select shoppers. Um, teaching a skill. Again, uh, when you go to Home Depot and you see them have those Saturday classes, lots of people show up for the free stuff. But there, if you literally set a woodworking class, you can teach it at community college, you can teach it out your backyard, you can teach it at a warehouse. You just have to start building up the momentum for that because I've actually seen people go on Eventbrite and they be teaching from a office, a WeWork office, and they have that event every Friday, every other week. And they making good money. Good money. And they have a person that works the door to make sure you need that nobody gets locked out of the WeWork to come in this open space area where they teach some online stuff. So again, sell a service, teach a service. Number four, stock trading. Stock trading, again, I'll bring my girl Terry on again before the year is out, I think so, um, to just re re let you guys think about that. There are people who are at home day trading and stock trading, and they're not doing it with emotions. They're doing it with technical analysis. It's, it's, a, very, it's a very big thing, and the reason why I'm so... Uh, sometimes I may be frustrated on this channel is because I am immersed in this society, right? I hang out with people who are engineers and tech folks all day. And I hang out with us day traders in Austin and creative, you know, small business owners in Austin. It's part of the reason I stayed in Austin so long is because of the environment. You have a lot of people who work from home and work remote and are just like, oh, yeah, I totally know what you're talking about. Even when we were in San Diego, we, were, we went to go paintball and this guy was like, what do you guys do? I know you do something online. And he was so excited. And the guy just kind of blew him off and joked a little bit and said, hey, we do MLM. And everybody started laughing. He's like, no, I know you have to do something online. There's something about environment that's important. And so when I talk about stock trading, many of you are like, well, Terry said it moves one point a day, 1% a day. And that's true. That's very true. How much do you have to start with? And are you investing time in the right information? and taking the right action that part so number five delivery services again like i was talking about there's an app called buddy truck there's an app there's all kind of apps where people are moving things and there's even apps where people are delivering stuff for offices now you can go look at jermaine your boy jermaine another day another dollar um he used to just be doing delivery services all day then he went traveling the world for six months off of the delivery service money literally was in san francisco and and this is why i'm i, I don't want to be ugly 
but it, you guys are just making up excuses. Oh boy was like renting a room. He even rented the car because in California you could do that. And he was doing at least a thousand four hundred or so dollars a week plus in San Francisco, delivering things, delivering food with a rental car and renting a room. And then literally packed his stuff and went and traveled for three weeks. And then would come back for one week out of the month, deliver a bunch of food, go back out, travel again for a whole nother month, then come back, deliver food for two more weeks, and then go out and do it again. And so it's all about priorities. It's all about focus. It's all about where your mind is. You can make money delivering service, but a lot of times what I find is people have an attitude about it. Oh, I don't really want to do this. I'm only going to spend two hours on this. I ain't got time for this. I'm tired. And you know, you really got to remove the attitude out of it because you're broke. That's just all there is to it. Now, again, Jermaine even showed where he would make $2,000 sometimes a week. And a lot of you, if you look at the variety of services, some of y'all could really be doing close to 10 grand a month. There's a variety of services. If you lose your job and you got, let's just say, worst case scenario, you lost your job, you got a wife <clears throat> pregnant with, with twins, she can't work, her feet are propped up, she about to fall out. You would do it that you had to do. If you had to work 16 hours a day, you would do it. Now, many people could say, well, Erica, what about rest, relaxation, and da da da? Set your life up so you ain't got to be like that. You, some of these things are temporary, short term. <laughs> Had to get some of that good old soda. I don't need it, but I wanted it. All right. I'm going to leave the delivery conversation alone. Number six, party slash hosting your events. I know y'all think this is like, oh, please, we're not in college, Erica. But those kids make a lot of money hosting events, renting out a space. I've seen people rent out a space for $1,000, throw this ridiculously huge party where they had to sell tickets beforehand. And I think the tickets were like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And they packed that bad boy out. When it was all said and done between the marketing and being on the radio and all that other stuff, each guy, I think it was three guys in a group, were making $10,000 from that, uh, it was like a two night in a row event. And they even got a percentage of the bar. Now people say, well, Erica, well, I don't know no bar that would do this or that. Listen, a lot of bars are suffering in America. A lot of clubs are not making the money you think they are. On average, in food service and bars, they make five to 10%. They really make the money off the liquor. So if they have a full place and everybody's buying liquor, that's how they make money. There's a lot of different places that will do broker deals with you to host events. Again, you could literally host an event in Austin. There was one where they were showing you how to make soy candles. I kid you not. I lie to you not. How to make candles. And it was like 50 bucks a person for the event because they provided all the stuff for you to make the candle. And I think the class max was like 35 people. Honey, they were sold out. I was in there making my candle like, they are sold out in here. I was so excited to make my candle. I didn't care. And stuff like that and the space they had and the materials, I know it didn't cost them. I mean, I just know it didn't cost them as much as you think. And they do that like every other week, making candles and be sold out on Eventbrite because people try to find date night ideals, everything. So there were like couples in there, all kind of stuff. So hosting events and parties are a real thing. It is... And don't go to other people's channels for this this extra content because you're like, Erica, how? Like, like, go to the extra channels. Number seven is cute kids. I did talk about this. Cute kids is there's just there's several um, channels uh, and several programs like cute kids, but cute kids is essentially where you're going to be an English speaking person speaking to a most likely Chinese, Japanese, or or Korean. A uh, younger student who's like middle school, elementary, high school, mostly middle school and, element, and high school, trying to improve their English. There's several programs like it. Um, I think it it came out of the rise of like all these English speaker teachers trying to come over there. They're thinking of different online programs and apps where they can help improve people's English. I used to watch a dude cook his hamster, small mini pizza and tacos on YouTube. Wow. Wow. Yeah. There's a dude with 100,000 subscribers and all he does is unclog storm dreams. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Next one. Uh, number eight, transcription services. You, I paid a dollar. Okay. So I told you guys the whole story of how I got the Smartphone Millionaire book and I sold 7,000 copies and I had auto 
auto, you know, did it on a computer, like had the phone up to my ear with a la lavalier pen and just read, you know, you know, expressed the book over the phone, right? Verbal. Then sent it to the transcription service and they, it was like a dollar a minute or something to that effect. And paid for that service and an American person did it and sent it to me. And the hence is the book. Now, again, this time I have an editor. We're, we're cleaning it up. There's like three other book ideals I'm working on as we speak, and she's going to clean those up as well. Um, but transcription services is a real deal, and they make good money. So, again, you can you can look up anywhere. Hiring transcriptions, hiring transcribers. You know, if you speak more than one language, even better. You make some real money. So, it's an easy way to get up to $10,000 a month. Definitely look it up. Uh, definitely go check on uh, Glassdoor. I ain't gonna lie. I waste my time watching a dog groomer channel in which she wastes, washes and cuts puppy hair. Dr. Pimple. She makes money popping people's, literally popping people's cysts and pimples on YouTube. I'm, I'm telling you, when people sit here and go, Erica, I just don't know. The market's so saturated. I'm like, is it? Is it saturated? I don't think so. All right. Um number nine selling plates of food now don't laugh many of you are like selling plates of food i wanted so bad to interview two different people who had i know personally sell close to twelve thousand dollars in food one of them ended up getting a food truck in north carolina because they were selling so much food the other one you know what they do they would post pictures on wednesdays and fridays and they actually did use someone's uh kitchen like a, a commercial kitchen space <clears throat> because that person was the company was so broke they were like sure you can use the space like as long as you clean up and pay me a little bit of money i'm just trying to make trying to save some money make some money off this space and they would make a ton of money they they would shoot it out to all their facebook friends and tag people and the food would look delicious and full of butter and fat and grease and they would sell them plates out come pick your plates up from five to ten and people be ordering 10 plates 20 plates just get the whole family plates it's not a joke. It's a real thing. There's like countless stories. Like you guys can spend all the day just Googling stories about people who sold plates on Facebook and now have their own restaurant, now have their own food truck. It's a real thing. If you have a power for cooking and even my uh, trainer, my per my chef I had for a while, she would cook the food, not from a commercial kitchen, from her home. And I was like, ooh, like I thought she was at a commercial kitchen. She wasn't. She did good food. She just kept putting asparagus and everything and it drove me crazy. I was like, please stop. For the love of Pete, asparagus is gross. So, again, selling plates of food, don't laugh at it. It's Some of y'all grandmas probably could make a lot of money this winter and summer. Virtual assistant. Now, um, you can go on Upwork. You can go on Indeed. You can go a lot of places and try to hire a virtual assistant. If you're an American, what I would strongly suggest, if you think that you have the temperament to work remote, and work as someone virtual assistant i would do it i would say do it now you're gonna say but erica i have to compete with these people from philippines and belize but here's the thing every mastermind i've been to this year has said the same thing you're gonna have a bunch of, of vas from philippines but then you always want to want an american one american who is either the executive assistant over your stuff or they are control of all the other vas why because it's just the lack of language barrier, the lack of trouble with stuff happening overseas, um, just the way your business may grow. Um, you're always going to want someone who is on this side of the pot. Now, people say, well, Erica, well, how am I going to get up to 10 grand? Trust me, um, the level of work some virtual assistants do, in American price, you're talking about 150 an hour to 120 an hour, sometimes 80 an hour, sometimes 20 bucks an hour, um, because some companies only have work for you for like 20 hours, but it's heavy duty work. Uh, you can make up to $10,000 as a virtual assistant. Trust me, go look on Upwork, go look on Indeed.com, go look up a executive assistant on Indeed.com in your city and state. You'll see a lot of companies who, if they can pay you remote to stay at home, they would definitely do so. If they can pay you a little less for you to stay home, they would do it. So again, look up the different opportunities with virtual assistants in America. Um, you actually be shy. A lot of it is data entry. People just, again, jobs are created because people don't want to do that particular thing. Or it's not their strong suit, or if you do it, it'll help grow the company, right? Um, and there's a whole conversation there, which I'll draw out a little diagram on here. For, uh, and if you read Gary Keller's book, The One Thing, it looks like this, right? So this is the goal. That looks so terrible. This is the goal, right? And every person you add to the company, 
that is all they're all in sync moving to this goal it's not just you makes the goal happen faster smoother and in a better projection so when you think about VAs, imagine each one of these is a VA and they have a particular job that they have to do, All right? They have a particular job. They email marketing, their lead generation, and all, so you got six people pushing towards this goal. Do you think that goal will happen faster or later? Because you honestly can have company meetings via Slack. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all understand what I'm saying there. All right, let me go back. I have my little notes here on paper. Number 11 was Facebook groups. Now, I know people like Erica, not the Facebook groups. People lose hours of their life in Facebook groups. Same thing goes for YouTube. They lose hours of their lives in YouTube. I think YouTube, bang for your buck. The reason I put it number one is because I know, hands down, I know people with multiple channels. I know people who don't even show their face. There's one guy, Jason Black, whether he'll admit to this or not, has multiple channels, and I've heard his voice on seven different channels. And I know he, he you know, does a little voice thing with his voice. And he's like a light-skinned dude trying to pretend like he's dark and black, but he ain't. Um, but I'm telling you, he's on multiple channels. He's getting multiple assets checked, multiple book sales, multiple venues. I mean, he's making money, and I've seen it. But I would still put Facebook groups at 11 because I am thinking of putting together this course because there's so many projects I work on off the scenes that you guys don't understand why I'm so exhausted and like snappy when I'm on the shows because I'm working on way too many projects. It's not just a YouTube channel. It's some Facebook groups and some other stuff, some other stores. And that's why this vacation is perfectly timed for me. Um, but I'm thinking together, I'm probably going to put together a course. Maybe next year I'll release it after I see more results for like a solid period. But yeah, Facebook groups, yeah, there's some money being made. If you go in some of these groups, they've got 100,000, 600,000 members. There, and there's a whole system about how they set them up and how they make them and how they make money off of them. Um, you know, you're going in there to lollygag and laugh and people all like, you know, there's one group where it's all about sales. So they make all these, all these people share sales memes all day, but you'll see in some of the conversations in the chat, oh yeah, I work here, I work in this city and state. And then they start DMing each other and connecting with each other. Um, or they buy the products and service of the group. I mean, it, it, it's a lot of money to be made and you don't have to spend your whole life on Facebook. Like you could literally set aside the four or five hours your kids are at school post an article or two a day in your group and then respond to a lot of people and offer also at some point offer a product service or affiliate marketing related thing and that i gave you the overview but i can tell you right now some people are like what um but yeah i'm probably gonna put a course together for that just to show you some of the things i've been working on behind the scenes and like how this didn't happen overnight and you can't you can burn yourself out but if you have vas and staff honey you know, and you do, I mean, even Facebook has scheduling in the future. There's so many parts of that I could talk to you guys about. But the point of what I'm saying about that is it all goes back to systems. It all goes back to hiring staff and having systems. A lot of people you see behind the scenes, like I was wearing myself out and I would actually go to events and masterminds. And they go, girl, you need a staff of this many people. You need 10, 12, 11 people. Let me show you what you need to do. Let me show you how you can do all this follow up and not be burnt out by people and not be wanting to snap. Like I literally could walk away today from the catalog of YouTube videos I have and just go back and promote old videos and respond and do so many things. But I actually enjoy this conversations with you guys because I actually do see people's lives changing. Um, even at the boat party, I was crying at my dinner because some people were like, dude, I'm investing in stocks for my grandchildren because of you. And I'm like, holy crap. So I, I would give the win to YouTube long term only because also Facebook can just drop your group and disappear your crap. But again, that's where email lists come in. So anyway, so I hope those were helpful. Again, how to make 10K. It's going to be YouTube channel, start a business sell a service or 3b teach a service teach a skill number four stock trading number five delivery services number six party slash hosting your own events number seven q kids number eight transcription services number nine selling plates of food it's a real thing number 10 virtual assistant number 11 facebook groups and somebody just because i wrote it down said cuddle cuddle <laughs> cuddle services <laughs> in the comments you guys are crazy let me see what y'all talking about in here. Thank you, Enash. Fear is permission to go, go, go. 
Wait, how do you get 150K in credit? I have a business set up. Kes Logis, um, get on my email list and I will refer many of y'all out um, to a really reputable company um, that I've worked with myself. You know, if you guys really want to, if you get on that email list, we might be able to show some of y'all how to get up to half a million dollars with the corporation but uh, that's next year i can't i can't release all the goods at the one time definitely get on the email list i'll put it out here for you uh so true i've been deleting everything that has not helping me grow yeah ready set well there's more a little bit more to it but yes that's true you're the i know the guy that's right that's me listen there's there's a you know, people want you to come out here in the middle of the road and hold a sign with all the directions how to get to every step in something for free. To no cost. You just stand in the road for eight hours a day and waste your life away, making no money on any end. Again, the power is in the book. Read the book, The Go-Giver. You guys really have to work on your mindset because the ideal is win-win. It's not, I lose, you win. Ha-ha, I got you, Erica. It's win-win. We all win when we all have a little skin in the game. We all win when someone helps another person or refers another person. We all win. It's a win-win. I think anything that helps old people will be in demand. Oh, for sure. I mean, oh, for sure. I'm, I'm giving you stuff for now. But if you wanted me to do a show on um, the 10 different places. Oh, let me just go ahead and write that down. The 10 different jobs or businesses that will be helping older people. I'll make a show on that. I'll record that. Probably pre-record it. And the next 20 years. Really the next the next 5 to 20. Because that's all you have retiring. 20% of all white people in America right now. Of all white people in America. 20% are 65 years old or older. So for the next 20 years. 65 years old to 85. Like, like that's, that's really going to be a big part of um, the country. So I definitely could do a show on that. I'll write, I'll write it in my little notes here. Hey, yeah, I teach people how to build a business flipping diabetic strips and charge them and make six figures from it. There you go. Every little every little thing. I have my trainings on Udemy. So here's my thing about Udemy and any other third-party platform. Yes, it will give you a lot of traffic, but you honestly, at the end of the day, which I'm, there's three, I only have three more big courses in my body that I think, <laughs> which it could always change. But the YouTube course, which is the big one, I'm still recording videos to this day to put in the freaking course because there's so much stuff that needs to go into that YouTube course. Um, and we already have testimonials coming out of it that you guys are going to see if you're on any of my email list. But also the Facebook group one and also <sighs> having your own platform because I've seen horror stories of people using Facebook and using this or using YouTube. Even in the YouTube course, I talked to them about Alex Beaton, who she had 3 million views on YouTube. She had a bunch of subscribers. She had a uh, membership site that she was charging $9 a month for, had like 100,000 people in it. No, no, she had like 9,000 people in it. And, and YouTube deleted her channel and she never got it back. Never. She just started going on podcasts and Facebook and like had to restart basically. And so I'm always encouraging people. And I know people are like, oh, but Udemy brings me traffic. Just like Amazon, FBA, all stuff brings you tra traffic because you're putting something on their platform. I still would encourage you to have your own website um, and have your own email list so that you can direct things back to you. And if it disappears or takes your stuff off, you don't lose. Win-win, right? Win-win with your stuff. I have service business. I do bookkeeping, taxes, virtual assistant. I have an e-commerce business for my body oils. I also do low content on publishing on VDA. So at this point, uh, Davida, Jane, Jane Brown, I would, um, because it's almost about to be tax season, you need to basically figure out a way to do $100,000 in taxes this year. I don't know what that means, how many that could be for you. I don't know if your service is $300 a service or $400 per people's taxes, um, but you need to figure that number out, right? Because if it's, which it may be low, I may be saying a very low number, but could anybody in the chat right now, 100,000 divided by $300 is what? And 100,000 divided by 500 is what? Tell me how many people that is. Because at the end of the day, like, I just think if you, uh, a lot of people that we see in the tax Jumping Jack tax and all this other stuff. They they've talked about it, making a hundred thousand in tax season, and then the rest of the year just managing your money. 
And that will come from marketing. You will have to seriously market. Seriously. Let me see where. <clears throat> if you're scared to get dirty, you can get super rich. If you aren't scared. These days, almost everyone pays for convenience. That's right, Mr. Number one, I teach a skill every day. It works. The vocal doctor. There you go. The vocal doctor, Stephanie Derrick. That's a good show. That's a good name right there. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Can't learn this in college. Thanks, E. Ready, set, wealth. Listen, you guys. It's all systems, man. It's all systems. If I could get you guys, and I'm even working on putting that video in the v, in the YouTube course, the VAs and like the replies and $5 retargeting and like all this stuff is systems. If you can reach enough people a day, and again, this all that's going to happen in the recession is people are going to stop advertising because you're going to be like, we got to save all the money we can save. And as their business shrinks into nothing because they stop advertising, you're going to be able to buy radio space, TV space. Like I already told you guys, TV ads right now, all time lows. You want to be on TV and, and a lot of places and make a lot of money? Whoo, buddy. You can be on radio. You can be on Spotify. You can be on Waves. You can be on a lot of things for like 30 cents a day, a dollar a day. I do closet organization for people on the weekends, on my days off. Wow, Texas Stardust. Yeah, that's a big thing. You got to think about it. People really try to play off like the stay-at-home mom job is not a real job. But if you think about how... How much kids' clothes you wash, your husband, your clothes, you dry them, you fold them, you put them away, you cook, you clean, you organize, you actually make sure your kids' lives are good, you put up doctor's appointments. Like, it's a real job. And people try to put here and play like, that ain't a real job. I'm like, that's why the kids are so stupid now. That's why the kids are bullying each other at school. That's why you have so many problems at school. That's why you don't have any parents up there at the PTA meetings. They're exhausted from both parents trying to work full time. But if your mom, which I could point out a few channels where they're a mom on social media or running a few Facebook groups, makes a ton of money with four hours a day of work. You know, y'all ain't trying to hear that, though, but I could help you. But some people won't ever hear it. And that's OK. Again, I can show you multiple channels where even the woman that has the little channel uh, that's inappropriate. Hilarious chick. Literally never host, never does a comedian show. Has all these affiliates and sponsors off of small clips off Instagram. Never even shows her husband's face. Now, we know her husband's black. Kids are half black, but, you know, she's a white lady. And she just does hilarious stuff. Again, it's all about your time management. <laughs> if you're Stardust, if you're in DFW, my wife will need you in March. Hey, I feel you. Concerning Jermaine, now he does it from a boosted board. It's doable. Very true. Yeah, he does. I I, I do keep loot. I keep some tabs on his channel, not a ton, um, because there's just certain ways I'm moving for next year and there's certain channels I monitor. But yeah, I mean at the end of the day, like he rents a car in San Fran, makes like two grand in a week, and then goes away for three three weeks. Think about it, man. Hey, Erica Boston D checking in. I'm interested in doing a mock TED talk. You can do these things at local CCTV stations. Listen, D Organis just said a big one. A mock TED Talk at CCTV stations. I know one dude who does a thing where they both, they all do their little interviews at a local TV station. And I'm like, how do y'all get on TV like that? I mean, there's ways around a lot of stuff. I love Dr. Pimple, don't judge me. No, no, no. I, I love the show too because it shows you that people will have a, a actual medical problem. And will ignore it for you. Like, just keep getting up, going to work, eating food, going to work. Like, nothing happened. Like, there's not a giant knot on the side of their freaking head that they should have been got take care of. You know? Oh, I don't know how much money it costs. That's not, that's bad. And everybody's like, oh, it's because United States healthcare. No, it's because Americans will try to ignore something to the end. But they got the best TVs. Meal prep for fitness people. I'm telling you. How would an old man make money? That you got an inventory. You tell me what your skills are. It all depends on what you can do. What kind of skills do you have? You can make a lot of money. You can go on the internet and tell stories. You can do anything. Many Rodriguez. I knew a Thai lady who would come to the hospital where I work and sold Thai dishes. She racked up. I bet she did. 
Jamie Hines HQ. My cousin received 300000 from eating lead as a kid. He trusted a short Italian man with heavy cologne and a pinky ring to invest for him. Five months later, bye-bye. He disappeared with the money. Again, James Hines. I'm going to give your cousin a break because he ate lead. How about that? Because honestly, it's just too much information out here. Even if your cousin would have took 100000 bought him a house, rent the rooms out. Bought a little cheap house, put it with a property manager. Anything would have been better than that, but hey, it happens. What's up, AM1? There you go. Erica, this is so true. I know a guy who sells my ties and other mixed drinks in a mason jar for $20 a pop. Loaded with different fruits, and it's awesome. Don't ask me how I know, but they're delicious. <laughs> Listen. Uh, I've been on Facebook many times and been like, I will go buy a plate from that woman. Like, if I see where they're cooking it and I feel okay with it, I will go buy it. Erica thinks Jason Black and Professor Black Truth are the same person. No, there's like five other channels where I swear to you it's the same Jason Black voice. I'm like, look, not all people sound alike, but uh... And the dude was ha doesn't show his face. It's And all the other channels I'm talking about, they don't show their face. But the voice is exactly the same. And I was like, do you, you sound like Jason Black. And the dude started going, what? Who's that? I've never heard of that person. You're a lie. If you've been on, if you're on YouTube, and, and I wasn't the only person saying in the comments, because like five other people said, yeah, he does. And they start all just piling on saying he sounded like the guy. And I was like, come on, man. It's you. We know it's you. Because honestly, let's be really honest. I know a YouTuber, and I can't say their name, but they were at a mastermind with me, not this past weekend, but a couple weekends before that. And all they did they literally have six different channels and they just spend all day at the computer at their house. They basically laid off their job, but they're really smart when it comes to numbers and they have a stock channel and a news channel. And I'm not giving away the information, but essentially that's all he does. He knows how to get on the computer. He hides his face. He'll just do a bunch of screen sharing of stuff and go on and do his little news show. And he's smart. He's wicked smart. You listen to how he talks. He's super smart. All of them college degrees and did not want to go back out and get another job. And if you're a person who say, Erica, you know, racism or something happened to me in the workforce, or I don't want to go back to corporate America. If you're smart enough, you can get on this YouTube and make a bunch of channels and have a lot of affiliate marketing and make the dough rack in. But if you're not my YouTube course, I can't tell you about that. Get your money. People say different topics need different channels. Yeah. I mean, you know. Um, but let's be really honest. Gossip channels don't make as much money as people think they do. Then why are certain people out here begging for donations? I'm just saying. Hello, when is the new Smart Film book come out? I don't know. I'll ask any leader. A lot of YouTubers are gassed up because of their following. It's pretty corny. Yep. Moderators, please post a YouTube course. Glendon promotes old videos. Yeah. You can go back and, and put old videos up and all that stuff. Erica's kind of gassed up on the low. I got, I, I worked hard. <laughs> uh, Boyd Watson's got nothing on Erica. She's consistent. I, listen, I just tell the truth every day. Uh, what's my email address? What's your email address? Put it in my, uh, put it in my Mailchimp. Put it in my email list. Want to put on one of the email list and we'll reach out to you. I sell my Udemy online, post my travel trainings on Eventbrite. I travel. I make 30K for my business this year. Congratulations, Case Manager Connections. I'm originally a Texan by birth, but now NYC. If someone knows how to cook real barbecue, I would buy their plate of hot food. Yeah. Older generations should invest in or run a marijuana business. Possible. I have my own website. Congratulations. Mine starts at $500 in fees. All right. $500 pop is 200 people. There you go. You need 200 people this year, Davida. Make your 100K. Make your six figures. That means you need to have bandit signs out. You need to be on radio ads, TV ads. Do it all, girl. Do it big. Blockchain and machine learning and cannabis space. <laughs> Jamie's so stupid. Claim 99 allowances and you may go to prison for a year, though. Thank you, guys. A lot of people were doing it. 303 people, yeah. I know this is off. Oh. 
I know this is off topic, uh, but you were right, Erica. For the past two weekends, I had poor family members trying to move into my duplex with me. It really a recession out here for some people. And well, Tamara, you know what you got to do? You got to uh, make sure that other side's rented out real fast, quick, in a hurry. You have no empty rooms for them. Do you have any videos on how to hire somebody to drive your truck? No, Jay Israel. You can go to Hood Estates. Hood Estates teaches all the trucking stuff you need. As you see in 2020, I'll be more of my focus will be back on real estate, back on my investment groups, investment clubs, and a lot of the online stuff because that's where the future is. Period. Like, I'm going to more cities after more cities and it's like, if you don't know how to use these computers, these computers, it's about to be rough for you. Even if you... Say, no, Erica, I know somebody uses their hands. Yeah, you can use your hands all you want, but a lot of these uh, mom and pop, you know, painting companies, playment companies, the reason these guys actually make money is, one, there's a recession. There's like a recession of men who know how to actually fix things and do it right. And then two, the ones that really make good money have a wife. And the wife usually helps run the business or she hires staff or they have staff. Because if not, a lot of them just run around and hustle and, and fix things so they have to fix things. And even in a recession, you're still going to need guys who fix plumbing, electrical, electrical stuff, welding, but you need to be organized. So if you can't even like, if you don't, I mean, I remember asking this guy one time, does he have a list of all, email list of all the people he houses he worked for? He brought out a box of receipts and papers and he had people's phone numbers, but it was unorganized. So I'm saying, what if? Someone came into your office and needed to call up all your staff and be like, hey, we have a fire sale. Um, we can go do your plumbing for 20% off this month if you're an old customer. He did. He looked, he looked at me crazy. He was like, yeah, I'd have to go through all these boxes, find papers, find numbers. That's crazy. Hire somebody for the weekend to come into your office and type every single one of those numbers into the computer, put it in a spreadsheet, done. Now, every customer you ever had in the world is on that phone. At your disposal to call up or send out mail or direct mail or whatever but again people don't hear it till it's too late stay-at-home moms are teachers chefs maids babysitter you can literally can't pay them for what they're worth oh for sure i will put the email list out here uh in the description after the video orders. you can make money editing videos from home there's another one am one again I, that put that would fall under teacher service or sell a service I like this channel. You are not beefing with other people like the other YouTuber creators. There's nothing to beef about. We're, there's so much money out here. What do we have to beef about? Nothing. These The topics that mean nothing to me mean nothing. It's all about your focus. If you there, The people I'm in, the last mastermind I went in, they're like, let's do a million dollars a month. And I was like, oh, that's silly, that's silly. But then I really sat in that, class, that room and I was listening to some of the people and I'm like, you really could. It's that much money out there. Like people aren't really marketing themselves. Like when I when people on YouTube, do you guys feel like there's a lot of YouTube ads out here? Put a one in the comments if you think there's a lot of YouTube ads. When you're on YouTube, you're like, good lord with the ads. Put a one in the comments so I know if I if I can get a feel of the audience. Jason Black has another channel called The Business. Uh, possible. This vid should have 200 likes. Click like. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's definitely some gossip bloggers out there that think they can immediately be out here begging for cash app and donations. I'd be like, but don't you have ads on your videos? Exactly, because they don't really get paid from the AdSense. The gossip channels don't get like, money like other channels do. So, I mean, I know people like the clicks and they like the attention, but it would be better long serving them if they could have a more functional YouTube. 307 customers for a 325 per fouling yeah shot hollow that's correct and honestly i think if davida's still on here she said her services are around 500 that's good that means you need 200 people that means you need to have literally signs radio you need to be able to go on a little local radio station and talk about your business i mean again when it comes to taxes people don't know there's a lot of people who don't know and don't care to learn. Everybody's like, well, I can just go on Tax USA or some cheap site. And every time I hear about somebody going on cheap site, you, two or three years later, they had to do this or that or fix stuff. And and that's like, that's a, a silly. Jason Black has a distinct voice, which leads me to believe that all those channels are him. Thank you, Will Melvin. I'm, I'm, I, you guys think I'm making this stuff up. There are people who literally come on the internet and make multiple channels and do YouTube all day. <clears throat> and you'll go, but Erica, why do they have all these little small channels with 30,000, 40,000 subscribers? 
I have a channel of 35,000 subscribers and I make mega money. So imagine if they have six channels and they're out there promoting different things and different links and hey, hit my Amazon link here and there and hit my, you know, like when I have videos talking about stocks, there's so many of you like, here's my Robinhood app trying to get your five bucks. But imagine if you did that on six different channels. I mean, again, YouTube makes a lot of money. I'm looking at into a, being a notary course at community college. Mike, uh, Andre Hatch has been on the channel multiple times showing you how to make a lot of money as a mobile notary. I'm working my numbers, new tax prepper with Jumpin' Jack. There you go, Shot Hollow. Congratulations. When is the YouTuber price going up? Currently saving up now. It'll probably go up after the first 12 weeks, which will be around February 19th or 19th, 20th. Uh, whatever that last uh, Wednesday in February is because... Um, honestly, I just, when I finish this course, it's going to have so much freaking stuff in it. There's a reason I put it on drip campaign and I'm there. By the time they finish this course, there's no way they can't make, I don't know, there's no guarantees, but there's no way they can't have 150 K a year. There's just too many ways that I know YouTubers. I've set enough masterminds to show them and show them what I'm actually doing to get yourself six healthy figures, even from small channels. So many people out there. Small channels and people be like, oh, well, you you only got 40,000 subscribers. I know a girl with 20,000 subscribers who makes a killing in the beauty market. She makes a killing. like, And all she does is she has a VA and herself reach out every day to commercial beauty business every single day on the internet. That's all they do. Hey, we'd love to be an affiliate for this. We'd love to be an affiliate for that. We'd love to do this. Oh, you know, if you pay us $50, we'd love to do this. So you, you think, well, $50 or $100, that's nothing, Erica. She got a small channel. You do a hundred dollars times a hundred different products, and then on top of that, she's making affiliate money off all those products from all these different videos. When you have these smaller audiences, people buy stuff, and she even reaches out and goes and does physical pop up meetings at places. She's making money. I saw her car, I saw her house, and I did the easy math. There's even a girl out here who all of a sudden has all these YouTube views, and she had. And I'm not making fun of her, but I got to. She made six figures one year, bought a freaking G-Wagon. And so I know how much she really made. But then the next year, she made even more money. And But I'm like, I looked out her window. Her yard is terrible. The grass is terrible. The painting on the inside of the house. So I know it's an older house of her parents. But she got a G-Wagon. She's excited about her G-Wagon. So, I mean, I've seen it before. I know what that's about. But uh, YouTube course going up next year. I watched a video from Kobe Bryant. He kept saying winners don't make excuses because people lose because of all the excuses. Some people are in a lifetime recession. Yes. Jason Black has a brother that sounds just like him. It's possible. Uh, Alice Hardy, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you for your time. I am 559 years old and love your comment. I think you were trying to put 59. But thank you, Alice Hardy. <laughs> Y'all are so stupid. <laughs> I've never seen an ad on YouTube. Okay, there you go. So 70% of all the ad space on YouTube is still empty. They only fill up 30% of it. So when people say, oh, you know, I don't know if I want to spend five or ten dollars running that. I just don't, I don't think I want to do that. I'm like, there's so many channels I run across who spend less than 50 bucks a day. And you think, oh my God, they're the biggest YouTuber ever, but they're spending $50 a day on ads. Not a lot, just a little. <laughs> Lots of advertisements, especially on my phone. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a troll in here. Don't worry. You're gone now. You're blocked. Have a great day. Go direct to the IRS. They tell you what to do. <laughs> I click on the ads on of YouTubers I like. There you go. Jason Black and Professor Black Truth have done live broadcasts together in the same person. Y'all, I know, I know, but that's not what I'm talking about. I know for a fact this person has more than one channel. I I, I don't have to I don't have to make this up. I, I go to too many masterminds. I'm at too many YouTube things behind the scenes, trust me. When I tell you somebody has more than one channel, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not just guessing. Okay? I know. And it's not the person you're thinking. It's not the channel you think of. It's several. There's several channels this person has with the same IP address. And some people use VPIN, which is a virtual private network. And it's very. It hits the same numbers. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Okay. 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 
<laughs> what did Facebook do to you? He said, Facebook did you dirty, Robbie Rob. Let me know. Facebook been doing a lot of people dirty. I could tell you some horror stories from this last week mastermind where this guy had a social media marketing company. He was working on all these businesses and they shut him down across all his stuff. And literally all the businesses he was working for, he could not finish the work. He had to do a lot of refunds, all kind of stuff. So that's why I say Facebook groups make you money, but always keep that personal website and always keep that email list going because at any given moment in time, they can pull Alex Jones and get you on out of there. VC, $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. <sighs> oh, man. Thank you, Ron, for real estate. People, Erica's the real deal. Find a way to get the money and learn more. But it's been an hour, and um, I'll finish it out by saying the list one more time because you know we're going to have somebody come by and say, but I, she didn't have it written down in a pretty way. I don't know. I couldn't find it. Number one, starting a YouTube channel. Number two, start a business. Number three, sell a service or teach a skill <clears throat> uh stock trading delivery services number five number six is party or hosting your own events number seven q kids number eight transcription service number nine selling plates of food it's a real thing number 10 virtual assistant number 11 facebook groups economy's gonna change either way whether you guys are coming or not you need to know i did say occur <laughs> Once you start making crazy ROI with Facebook ad, they shut you down. Was getting my webinar was getting leads for fifty cents, and they banned my account for BS reasons. I'm telling you. So again, Facebook, Facebook is one of those things where you can't even put a lot of links. Like uh, even Instagram made me take down some of my links. Like they want you to do it in a particular way, and that's why I'm still baby. My number one baby is YouTube. Even if you see me run ads in other places, my number one baby is YouTube. So, Robbie Rob, I sent out a lot of direct messages for affiliate marketing. Literally all day finding leads. That's what I get for not getting my website first in MailChimp. I'm telling you, that's the only two other classes I really want to teach. The only other two is Facebook groups for money and um, realonlinebusinesses.com. Something like that craziness. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's automatic when the live ends. It's automatic when the live ends. So, all right, you guys, this is your girl Erica from the Classic Climb blog. If you have not gotten the 2020 Classic Climb planner, they are out now here and on Amazon. I have two different people doing a review. The key resource will be providing a, a planner review, and AM1 will be providing a planner review. I also have uh, lots of testimonials come in. We've got about 15 testimonials come in. For those of you on the email list and saw what I asked for the testimonials, Thank you for providing them. I'm looking for more. And you will also get a good 15-minute phone call with me for it. Um, again, if you have not signed up for the YouTube course and you want to, it's it's going to be a great one. And next year, I'm not going to lie, it's probably going to be about $4,000, if not more, because it's so many components to it. I really want it to be a mastery course um, that people really love and enjoy next year. So if you haven't got in, you guys are my test babies. Uh, and it's for the low low and you got a pro you got a payment plan. So all right you guys You thought you were on the email list. It depends on which email list again Mailchimp sends out so many you got to be careful, but I'll definitely keep checking your emails check your spam check all over. Oh Yeah, you have to be you have to be careful advertising on anybody's platform so All right, you guys have a great day